was thinking of like we used to tell Taz. She's, a, she's very excited. <laughs> <laughs> First run, it soars on the lips in pregnancy and it's called a canker sore. I have two. Come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it. Aww. One. Again. Is that just one? Yeah. Don't cry, it's okay. Oh. It'll happen, I promise. And keep trying. Uh, I don't like this, keep trying. I know, I know. That's when it was supposed to start. Stocking them up. So today is the day that I get the call back from the fertility people to go over my result. So we'll figure it out. We take both of these. I take them for quality of egg. You can either get really sad and mope about it or you can do something about it and that rings true to every situation in life. Okay, I'm just recording this in case it is what we think it is. <laughs> This is a twin pregnancy. Okay. Oh, I can see two babies. There's two of them. It's twins. Wait, no, 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 Last ever bump update. You're coming out today, boys. Get ready. The biggest day of our life <laughs> is here. It's the day. The boys are gonna be born today. After nine months of growing them, and feeding them kick and develop and stuff, we're finally gonna meet them today. Yeah. How crazy is that? <laughs> it's mad. It's actually crazy how that today feeling? is the day. I didn't I, I honestly cannot put my finger on how I'm feeling. Like I'm one, quite minute, one minute one minute I'm morning. really excited and then the next minute I'm like, oh my gosh, our lives are about to I know. It's like it comes in waves. Yesterday we were in all over the gaff, like <laughs> one minute crying, the next minute like jumping with excitement because it's just the unknown, isn't it? But we know that it's going to be amazing and this is going to be a day that we're going to remember, remember forever. Lives. So we're going in this morning at half seven. We got up at five today just to get everything ready. And we know that our slot is the first because yeah. Elle's having twins. She's a high risk pregnancy, quite possibly by 10. We could That'll have two children. Yeah. I tell you what, it was weird going to bed last night and knowing tomorrow I'm gonna have two kids. Yeah. <laughs> like it's so weird, like we're doing like the last things before we have two babies. And it's so surreal now that today <laughs> they're gonna be coming out. I know. And they have no idea, like it's a really cold day today. <laughs> Do they're they come be like, ah mom, it's freezing. <laughs> Do they come with a manual? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the last time leaving our house, just the two of us. We've had a little cry, haven't we? <laughs> I keep crying. No way. I'm sure we're going to be doing lots of that today. <laughs> but yeah, I am really excited now. How are you feeling? I don't even know. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, it's normal, isn't it, to feel... It's like you can't put your finger on it. It's a feeling like no other. I'm like it? so excited, but so like... Nervous. I don't know. That's normal. I'm interested to like find out how I'm going to react when they're here. 
because yeah. when we found out you were pregnant, I just went into shock. You did, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I, I so did. no, Ellen, we can't get excited yet. I didn't cry or anything, so, but I think I will when these boys are born. Yeah, you I, will. I don't know. I might just be in shock. I just can't believe that we have two babies in, like... I know. I don't know. Anyway, right, we'll catch up with you when we're at the hospital. We're actually nearly there now. Here we go. <laughs> oh. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. I have got it. I know got I can it. do it. I know you can I can do, do it. it. You can do it. You, we got this! Come on! Ah. Doors to your right. Postnatal. Yeah. Open. Okay, I think we're a bit early, aren't we? But we're in we're in a little room. Just waiting now. Oh bless you. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> she was like, how many babies are you have it? <laughs> Two actually. Mm -hmm. It's because we live an hour away. Okay, that's why we've bought so much stuff. So what I would say I'm to be Okay guys, so we've just had a chat to the midwife and, and the anaesthetist, both the and the doctor. They're all amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Really friendly, really kind. They explained everything, didn't they? And now, quick fit check. We've got these as well to put on, we but we can't figure out which one's mine. I think this is it. <laughs> How are you feeling? Nervous. It's fine. Though. Do you feel a bit more comfortable now they've explained it all, or what? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of Not long. Good. First, we're first in, so very soon. <laughs> I think they go on your shoes. We're gonna look like absolute idiots now, and if they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look hot? Yeah, you do. Boys, I hope you like my fashion. Do you want me to do a catwalk? No. They said they might, it's because they can't clear all the fluid yeah. themselves. So yeah, out, but you said it's normal for pre. Oh, for I know. They got loads. Just lift their hat up, Dad. So much hair. I'm okay. Yeah, they've got so much hair. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> 
They're so cute, aren't they? Oh, I don't want to get slapped on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've been waiting for that. So long for these. This was your choice, wasn't it? A first yeah. thing. Post. There. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. And now she can have them because the gestational di diabetes is gone. gone. We've just come back from visiting the boys in NICU, haven't we? Yeah. Elle's feeling a bit rough, bless her. Yeah. We think she's had a reaction to one, one of the painkillers pain that they've given her. So you're feeling sick aren't you being really sick like, yeah. really tired and stuff um but the boys are doing better now aren't they yeah. which is really good they're, they're responding really well to all the medication and stuff that they're having yeah temperatures um, and they're are feeding up. well mm -hmm. um they're going to try them with the bottle at their next feed so i'm yeah. glad i couldn't stay for that i really wanted to feed them oh i know soon tomorrow i've not fed them yet it looks as if we're going to be moved to transitional care, is it? Yeah. Where the boys will be with us again then, yeah. which is good. We're just trying to push at the moment for me to stay here because I don't really want to leave Elle on her own, especially when she's feeling unwell because it's a 45 minute drive away. So hopefully they let me stay. We have brought an air bed with us. <laughs> I'm glad that you're feeling a bit better now. A bit more perky, aren't you? Yeah. It's not good being sick with a C-section, that's for sure. Yeah, My you've smashed it though. My like contracting and I'm like, ow. Oh, yeah, oh god, yeah, that's true, I didn't even think of that. Mm. He's trying oh, to sit no, I'm so bit. proud of this girl, so proud of you, you've bloody smashed it. Two perfect little babies you made. I just can't wait to like have them back here. <sighs> and just be... They're so perfect. Yeah. I can't wait to like, ah, I just put myself mm -hmm. I can't wait to see them again. So we were moved to transitional care and we were reunited with the boys and Elle finally got to give her first feed and we had a few hours of cuddles. Oh my god, what an evening it's been tonight. So I was told that I wasn't allowed to stay here in transitional care with Elle for the night. So I booked a hotel and then literally two minutes after I booked the hotel, the midwife came in and she was like, come with me. And she brought me into this room. They've given me this room, which is literally just across from L. I'm staying at the hospital. I've lost 70 quid on a hotel because they wouldn't let me cancel it. But oh well, I'd much rather be here with Ellen and the boys. Their blood sugar levels are fine. Their breathing is fine. Um, they just need to be monitored through the night now with, with a couple more heel pricks. And as long as they're, they got two more blood sugar readings that need to be okay, and then I think they'll take out their tubes then. Day two started with a cuddle and a feed. It's crazy how long you can stare at your newborn and wonder how you made them. Their little features were melting our heart. We then got a visit from my best friend, AKA Auntie Taz. Oh gosh, can you keep me? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Taz has brought us chocolate cake. This is a monumental moment I'll after having diabetes. <laughs> Do you want some help? started getting to grips with feeding and changing nappies and seeing as Elle was recovering I spent the first few days doing all of the nappies and let's just say it was interesting to say the least. Tab tidied up our area as we were told we could move to our own room later on that evening. We're in our own room. Yay! We got our own room. Does this thing where he puts his hand by his ear and looks like he's on the phone. Day three started with some dry toast. <laughs> Luckily, there was a Costa at the hospital as they don't let partners have any hospital food. The midwives, every single midwife that we have comes in and goes, oh my God, they're so gorgeous. I think they're all obsessed with them, which is why we're getting such great care. I mean, I'm sure they give great care anyway, but we're getting extra special care. Cheers, boys. Later that day, I started to feel really ill with a headache and a sore tummy, which wasn't a good sign. I woke up feeling so crap. I had a migraine, like I was starting to get a migraine this morning um, and I think we mentioned but last night we were up weren't we, doing a lot um, 
and yeah this morning we just had such a bad headache what we ended up doing is we gave the boys back to the other rooms so they're literally just out the door in there we needed a solid few hours where we could just get some sleep didn't we so yeah because Fab's just been doing absolutely everything do you want to share the good news though they said that i could we could go home tomorrow if everything keeps continuing so i think the boys should they should be in the other room having feet now so hopefully they can have their tubes taken out of their noses this is a big moment Elle's doing her first ever nappy. He's gonna scream. This is the screamer. His brother sits there and just chills, but he does not like having his nappy changed. I wish I didn't stop recording here because a second after, Ellen got covered in poo and it was absolutely hilarious. It is Friday evening and we are about to announce that the boys are here. We've waited because we've just been taking it in. Elle's just having a look at the caption that I've wrote showing the pictures. I mean, pro you probably would have seen this by now, but look how cute. Okay. Oh. oh, it's live. It's live. Oh my gosh. Oh, boys. But we're going home tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so we're having a test run tonight of like doing it all by ourselves because we have had the midwives literally doing everything for us. Not everything, but no, they've helped we've us. We've done a lot. all the feeds in the day, haven't we? But not the feeds not at night. Not last time. night. No, tonight so is our first proper we'll complete VS test run. So we're going to actually try and get to bed soon. Fab's going to go and sterilise their bottles. Yep. Um, and then we'll watch I'm a Celeb and get to bed. Yeah. And have some heroes. Okay, so it is day four. Are we on day four? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yes, it is day four in hospital. And um, we've had a good day so far. It's lunchtime. The boys are asleep in their cots. Can you notice something? Oh, <laughs> there's no more tubes. They've had all their tubes out now. Look at these handsome boys. I'm feeling okay. Feeling good. Yeah. I've been up more active today. Tell them what you've done. Good. My milk's coming today. <laughs> Yay! She's just um been pumping. Been pumping and it worked, didn't it? Yeah, and it came off. Yeah. Quite easily. Now I well, I smell like baby sick and I'm sticky from breast milk. <laughs> and I need a shower, but we've got a thousand things to do. Do you want to go and have a shower first? We're still unsure on whether we're going home today. There's a couple of things they want to check. They they've checked it so many times now, but they want to check the jaundice level on one of them. Um, I think what keeps happening is when a new midwife comes on shift, they're like, oh, they look a bit jaundiced, but they've had three now, haven't they? They've had four. Four, and they've all come back under, so. And their little feet are so I know, and they keep obviously pricking their heels, bless them. And so we're not going home today, oh. which is a shame. Um, we're gonna go home tomorrow morning, I think, hopefully. I think they just wanna see one more night of feeds, don't they, to make sure it's consistent. <laughs> The midwives are going to be back overnight and be like, why are you still here? Yeah, it's fine. We'd planned to be here for 10 days. I know, so everyone, all the other midwives were like, yeah, you can go home. I know. Today. What are we doing now? We're watching a DVD. <laughs> what is this? What in the two th oh. 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 <laughs> What in the 2006 is this? We're going home today. Woo. Got to be quiet because they're sleeping. We are packing up now because we're going home shortly, aren't we? Yes. Are you excited? You need to find out. Car key. Oh, I, I want to, is to be close to you, but I don't know how and what to do. I'm so shy when it comes to you. been dying to wear this. <laughs> it's my going home jumper. Claire bought me this and it's I've been cool, dying to wear it. Oh, we've got yeah. a scary car journey to get through first. I know, that's what I'm doing in the daytime. Yeah. They're changed and we're ready to put them in their car seats now and take them home. Let's do a little baby transition. Home. 
Woo! The most important drive of my life. <laughs> and I'm sat in the back crying my eyes out. <laughs> I see it in your eyes. You want to see them more. Like we are so made. Something we never felt before. Yeah, I don't mind. 